Number 12 is the 1988 Buick Riata with a 0 to 60 time of 9.1 seconds. The 88 Riata was a compact two-seater. Only available as a coupe initially, the model was built around a reduced length version of the GME platform. A convertible version followed in 1990 and was produced for just one year. Riata production ceased in 1991. Under the hood, Buick equipped the Riata with a transversely mounted 3.8 liter V6. The unit produced 165 horsepower and 210 pounds feet of torque. Sprinting from 0 to 60 miles per hour took a respectable 9.1 seconds, securing its place on our list. The car's most distinctive feature was arguably its pop up headlamps, something unique in the Buick lineup. Number 11, 1971 Buick Riviera Grand Sport, 8.1 seconds. The imposing 71 Riviera GS truly benefited from its theatrical redesign. Many gearheads will instantly be able to draw styling similarities to the iconic 1963 Corvette Stingray, and this is no bad thing. Prior to its release, sales of the Riviera were beginning to lose momentum, and Buick really had to nail their colors to the mast in order to draw consumers back. The Grand Sport was the most dynamic version of the 1971 Riviera. Adding the optional $200 package increased engine power from the standard car's 315 horsepower up to 330 horsepower. Other changes include stiffer suspension, a 3.42 performance axle, faster variable rate steering, and the addition of a number of GS badges. Number 10, 1965 Buick Skylark Grand Sport, 7.8 seconds. The 65 Skylark Grand Sport is notable for being Buick's first muscle car. Parent company General Motors gave the go-ahead for 400 cubic inches engines to be used, and Buick jumped on the opportunity. Known as the Wildcat 445 inches thanks to 445 pounds-feet of torque, the engine can trace its existence back to the 1950s. The Skylark Grand Sport was actually equipped with a 401 cubic inches or 6.6 liter V8 unit, saving Buick from creating a new engine specifically for the purpose. Producing 325 horsepower, the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint was possible in 7.8 seconds. Buyers certainly approved of the formula, with around 16,000 examples sold in the first year. Fast forward to today, and this is one relatively rare muscle car, but one that is still loved by fans of the brand. Number 9, 1995 Buick Riviera, 7.7 .7 seconds. It was designed to appeal to buyers looking for a bit of luxury in their lives. Sporting a curvy coupe design, this model was created to enable its occupants to cruise in style. The interior was suitably comfortable, with generously padded, leather-covered seats available. A supercharged 3.8-liter engine provided the performance, with 225 horsepower and 275 pounds-feet of torque generated. Able to shift from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 7.2 seconds, this fairly sizable Coupa left some more expensive rivals worried. Number 8, 1969 Buick GS400, 0 to 60 time, 7.5 seconds. Based primarily on the Buick Skylark, the 1969 Buick GS400 was designed to compete in a market almost saturated with muscle cars. The model was available in both coupe 
and convertible variants and offered rapid acceleration. Blasting from 0 to 60 miles per hour took only 7.5 seconds with a mighty 345 horsepower at the driver's disposal. A number of transmission options were available, with both 3 and 4 speed manuals and a turbo hydromatic automatic on offer. In order to generate this impressive horsepower, the model utilized forced cold air induction via a specifically designed hood. Number 7. 2011 Buick Regal CXL Turbo. 7.5 seconds. Buick revived the Regal name in 2011 following a six-year break from production. The model was based around the European Opel Insignia and catered to the mid-size sedan market. In CXL turbo form, the Regal was kitted out with a turbocharged 2-liter engine. The unit produced 220 horsepower and 258 pounds-feet of torque, enough to propel the model from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 7.5 seconds. All Buick Regals benefited from generous standard equipment levels. The CXL Turbo took things up a notch further, adding conveniences like rear parking sensors and 12-way power seat adjustment into the mix. Exclusive Turbo-only options include Xenon headlamps and 19-inch wheels, helping the car stand out on the road. Buick fans would no doubt love to see the iconic Regal return one day. If it ever did, here's how it could look. Number 6. 2013 Buick Verano Turbo. 6.2 seconds. The Buick Verano was designed around General Motors' global compact vehicle architecture, linking it to models like the Chevrolet Cruze and Volt, as well as Opel's Astra. Compared to these models, the Verano does benefit from its own styling and design language. The model was well-equipped, coming with luxuries like dual-zone automatic climate control and button-operated ignition and parking brake systems. For the 2013 model year, a turbocharged 2-liter engine was added to the lineup. Rocketing from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 6.2 seconds, it was certainly no slouch. Number 5. 1986 Buick Regal T-Type. 0 to 60, 6.6 .6 seconds. While not as fast as the tricked-out Regal Grand National GNX topping our list, the T-Type variant is still a mightily impressive car. Under the hood, a 3.8-liter intercooled turbocharged V6 is capable of producing 235 horsepower and a substantial 330 pounds-feet of torque. The T-Type is very similar to the Grand National models, featuring exactly the same engine and output. T-Types benefited from aluminum wheels, meaning they actually had a lower unsprung weight than the Grand National. Combined with the fact they had identical power at their disposal, the T-Type gave the Grand National a real challenge. Number 4, 2013 Buick Regal GS, 6.2 seconds. Introduced in 2013, the Buick Regal GS increased the performance levels available in the Buick sedan portfolio. Compared to the standard car, the Regal GS sported a 0.4-inch lower ride height, creating a dominant stance. Up front, the car's grille fascia incorporated bold, satin metallic finish vertical air intake slots. The rear was similarly beefy, with a striking pair of satin metallic trapezoidal exhaust outlets integrated into the fascia. GS badging is evident across the entire vehicle and extends to the exclusive ebony interior. With a 270 horsepower high output Ecotec 2 liter turbo engine under the hood, the model was also pretty rapid. 0 to 60 miles per hour was possible in just 6.2 seconds, while a mighty 162 miles per hour top speed was also achievable. 1970 Buick GSX Stage 2455, 5.7 seconds. With a rapid 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5.7 seconds, the 1970 Buick GSX Stage 2 has secured third place on our list. Incredibly, Buick only selected two Stage 2 model as testing prototypes. The first being a white GSX sent to Reynolds Buick in California and worked on by Pappy Kennedy and Jim Bell. A second red version was sent to racing drivers Doug Jones and Dave Benesek. In excess of 500 horsepower was generated by the 7.5 liter engine. Transferred via a four speed transmission, the model could hit 150 miles per hour. Unfortunately, increasingly stringent emissions compliance 
meant the Buick GSX Stage 2 never made it into production. Number two is the 1970 Buick Grand Sport Stage 1GS 455, 5.1 seconds. Building on the success of Buick's early muscle cars like the 1965 Skylark Grand Sport, the brand really upped their game in the 1970s. The regular GS 455 was already a pretty mighty car, with an incredible 510 pounds feet of torque generated from its 7.5 liter engine. Despite this, a more powerful Stage 1 version was unveiled. The Buick Grand Sport Stage 1 utilized forced cold air induction via twin hood scoops to generate its colossal power and torque ratings. Compared to the regular car, 10 extra horsepower was generated, giving a total of 360 horsepower instead of 350 horsepower. Number 1. 1986 Buick Regal Grand National GNX With a 0-60 to 60 time of 4.4 seconds, Sitting proudly at the top of our list is the striking 1986 Buick Regal Grand National GNX. Essentially, the final edition of the Buick Grand National, the GNX was a true powerhouse. The regular Grand National is already a truly special car, with many in the automotive community recognizing its influence. The GNX generated an impressive 276 horsepower and 360 pounds-feet of torque from its uprated turbocharged 3.8-liter V6 engine. With all that performance, it was one of fastest American production cars of the period. The GNX had all the hallmarks of a great muscle car, a signature design and rapid acceleration. The model is most celebrated for its ability to challenge the V8 competition with a downsized V6 engine. A modern interpretation of Buick's Grand National would be a genuinely exciting proposition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.